Hello, I'm Emmy, and today we are working on the rehab clinic. A few episodes ago, I built this cool villager breeder, but that presented a problem. I had nowhere to move all of these new villagers to. Bruh. Sorry, kid. So I built this epic trading hall, but it's still empty. That's because I set up a secret underground club of which we do not speak. But in doing so, I realized these guys are really ripping me off, which then made me realize I need zombie discounts. So I hired Dr. Tom Jones, renowned Vegas rehab specialist. That's what we will be building today, the rehab clinic. It seemed only logical to put it in between the breeder and the trading hall, so for fun, I thought we could do a mashup of the two designs. Not to mention it needs to have a little bit of Vegas, baby. Okay, that's too much Vegas. For today's build, we are going to need an assortment of copper blocks, mangrove wood, dark oak wood, and shroom lights. Come on, Noodles, you're supervising today. One constant struggle that I'm sure you can relate to is gathering resources. And since I've been a little bit obsessed with using copper for my builds, I decided to make a dedicated area for it. It makes it a little bit easier to keep track of the spacing in between the blocks, so that way they oxidize a little bit faster. At some point, I still need to automate that honeycomb collection, though. But hey, at least something is better than nothing, right? Dang, that really shot out of the... Oh, <gasps> no, that was not my fault. Oh, that's so messed up. I'm sorry, Mr. Bee, but you shaved your own butt. It wasn't my fault. Seriously, what are the chances that the bee pops out the minute you go to get the honeycomb? That's really bad luck for both of us, but more for you. I pretty much have all the supplies on hand that I need for the build, but I do need to run out and get some mangrove wood, but not in the way that you might think. I appreciate you using the front door, but no soliciting. I definitely need to add a sign for that. I've got a little surprise to show you. In the last episode, I alluded to the fact that I needed a few slime balls for a secret project. And it is finished and ready for show and tell, so come with me. It is a very quick rocket trip over this away. When you see what I've built, will you know what it is, or will you simply think I've lost my mind? But here it is. I finally made a mangrove tree farm. Once again, we're going to need mangrove wood for today's build on the rehab clinic. And I got tired of having to go out to the swamp all the time, so I found a quote-unquote fairly easy tutorial. I will leave a link in the description to the tutorial for this tree farm. It was a little bit tedious to build, but in the long run, it is going to save me a ton of time, especially considering how much mangrove wood I use. I reckon it's about time we stop with the jibber jabber and get to building. Oh, hello. Well, that was rude. Not my fault that you got trapped in a boat and can't figure out how to get out of it. The build is going in between the breeder and the trading hall. I've dug out the outline of where it's going to go, so let me go into free cam mode real quick so I can show you the layout. Most builds I usually work in odd numbers, but strangely enough, this one ended up terribly even. It was kind of a fly by the seat of my pants design, but for this style, it actually works fine. For the interior floor, I've decided on cyan terracotta, and I to this day don't know why it's called cyan when it really just simply looks gray to me. I, terracotta is a mystery. Apparently, I have grossly underestimated the amount that I will need for the floor, so I'm gonna have to make some more. Let's quick run over to the cactus farm so we can grab some cactus to contribute to the cyan dye that we're gonna need for the terracotta. Just why? What is this? What goes on here when I'm not home? Okay, now that I've managed to restock our supplies, we can finish up the flooring just like that. The next thing I'm going to attempt to do is to start kind of placing blocks according to how I want the design to look. For the regular walls, I'm going to use stripped and regular mangrove, and then I think I will put the door right here with one, two, three, and another post there. And then I'm going to just work my way around the outline and kind of figure out where I want everything to go, and then I'll build it all up.
As you watch a lot of my videos, you are going to hear a lot of the same messages over and over again, maybe just expressed in different ways. And today is going to be no exception. I am going to encourage you to not be afraid to do something different. There is nothing wrong with doing a mainstream build or following somebody's tutorial for inspiration, but don't be afraid to do something kind of crazy and unconventional. And who cares what other people think? The sky is the limit and the crazier it is, the more it sets you apart from everything everybody else. Now here's where I'm thinking we need to add a little bit of Vegas bling to the doorway. So we're going to throw a little bit of copper here. I think that should look interesting. And of course, as always, safety is our number three priority. So we're going to go ahead and put an iron door here. But truly, the piece de la resistance is going to be the wild and crazy stripped warp stem. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's Vegas, baby. We're going bold. And ba-da-bum-bum-bum, I'm loving it. Since we are obviously going to need a zombie for the rehab center, it is far easier to do it now before the building is complete. So that is our next mission. I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but we have already looked into the future. At the beginning of this episode, I've already made reference to Dr. Tom Jones. Well... Now join me as we take a step back into the past for the recruitment of Dr. Jones. Now why is it whichever mob you're looking for at the time is the one mob that is never out where you're looking? If I... <gasps> Dang it! Where did that even come from? Does anybody actually have reflexes fast enough to respond when they hear the sizzle? I hear it, but it's like it's always after the fact or it's right at that second when it's just far too late and I can't react. Oh, those spiders are creepy. Oh, thank goodness, finally, a zombie. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting, he's carrying an eyeball. This is not an optometry center, this is a rehab center. But I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Now I just have to lead him to a little area that I set up and I think it should work. I've got the trap door so that I can fit through and he can't. And then I'm going to block him in from behind. All right, so far so good. Oh, like a charm. That actually worked better than I thought it would. Excuse me, sir, I do appreciate you coming out, but we are no longer hiring. The position has been filled. Good day. Apparently, we need to hire an exterminator around here. I said the position has been filled. Good grief, the job market must be cruddy out there. Well, it appears we have our first customer. I can't just, I can't just not try to save this guy. So let's see if we can, ooh, if I can do it. Let's see if we can dig a hole and get him down there. Okay, I think the hole, I've got it too deep. Now it's just a matter of convincing him to do our bidding and go into the hole. I'm, I'm trying to help you, man. There we go. Oh. Dang it, one more. Come on, get in there, get in there. Ah! Oh, yes! All right, we have our first client. I promise I'll come back for you when the construction is done. Woo! Oh, but I'm not coming back for you. Run, sizzle is bad. Bad sizzle. Now that we've made it to daylight, I am very happy to announce that the good doctor has survived safe and sound. Now that the main structure for the first floor is in place, it's time that we start the second story, which is going to be mainly those copper blocks. So I'm going to run home and get the supply of those. And what do we have here? Have they sent an entire army to rescue the two nerds in a boat, perhaps? That's just pathetic. Gentlemen, your people are here, but I wouldn't pack my things quite yet if I were you. Fellas, you are trespassing, and I have a right to defend my property. Thankfully, he killed his general, and now I shall kill him. Now that we are fully staffed, we can fill in the glass. No. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Who are these two that they keep sending patrols out to rescue them? We've got too much work to do. I'm ignoring them. I'm going to finish things up down here, and why don't you go ahead and start on that second story?
have done some good work here, my friends. And while the outside is complete and we will absolutely take an overall look at it, I did want to spend a few minutes talking about the interior. I did switch out the good doctor's glass from that lime green to the clear because, I mean, really, somebody dressed that sharply deserves to be seen. The way the system works is pretend that there was a regular villager here. You <laughs> push this button here. He goes into the doctor's office, receives his treatment, push the button again, and he comes back over here where he can receive his medicine. So the plan is I'm going to have the track coming from the breeder coming up through here. And then it can either go directly over here to the doctor or I can route them over here and kind of have a little waiting area where each of the villagers would be stationed and then we can send them in and out from there. And after all that set up, we actually still need to have a line running from here over to the villager hall. So we've definitely still got some work to do. We'll see how much we can get done here. I would actually like to get the rail lines here hooked up and I think, I'm not a redstone expert, but I think I can do this. So all this is, is hooking up that button to activate the powered rail down below. So I know that I need some redstone there and there, which will be powered by the button on the front of that light. A repeater there, which powers the block in front of it, which therefore will power the rail. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's such a thrill. So pretty much I'm just going to repeat this going all the way down. The next order of business is we need to hook up to the villager breeder rail line. So earlier I did actually go over to the villager breeder side of things and I started to dig the tunnel to head over this way. So now it's just a matter of finding out if I did manage to line it up properly. Actually I forgot to pay attention to how deep to go. Oh, oh this is actually it. We've done it. Most excellent. Even though nobody will ever see it, I will probably go ahead and fancy this up down the road and I will come back and do all the powered rails later. The last thing left to do is just to hook up the rail line to the waiting area over here. If you've never done rails like this before, it's actually a really cool trick to do. It's perfect for a setup exactly like this where you want one rail line to potentially go into multiple locations. Now I'm just going to add a lever at each of the curved portions of the rail line so that we can select which one to send the villagers to and put a lever on each of those and give it a test and it works. I don't know why I get such a kick out of that, but I just think it's so cool. I'm apparently rather easily amused. So now we can see how the rail system works and apparently I sent an extra minecart, but no worries, it still shows you how it works. Real quick, let's go take a peek at the upper portion of the build. All I did was added a little ladder here. I couldn't find a nice way to add stairs to the first floor, so I decided just to go the ladder route, but ooh, once you get up here, I love the look of the stripped warp stem and the oxidized copper with the dark oak. I know I've said it before, but my goodness, it's becoming one of my favorite combinations. It's just so gorgeous looking. As for the rest of the floors, so much space, such a cool layout. No idea what we'll ever use it for, but hey, it's here if we need it. That's the way I look at it. Now I reckon we might as well head outside so you can see what the completed building actually looks like. Please note that I absolutely, completely acknowledge the fact that this is one kind of crazy build, <laughs> but I like it. It's fun. It's different. It's colorful. It's crazy. It's kind of me. At least the crazy part. So over here I added a little smoking area for those that maybe need to calm their nerves a little bit. And then the majority of the build has the glass panes because we do not value privacy. We want to see what's going on. Inquiring minds, don't you know? And then before I forget, I'm going to need your help to remind me not to forget the fellow that we're trying to rescue over here that we buried in the hole in the ground. Sir, we would have let you wait inside, but your health insurance did not cover those accommodations. Originally, I had toyed with the idea of hooking him into the rail system, but then I decided I'll just wait until night and he can try to follow me in an attempt to kill me and I'll get him inside that way. You know, I was thinking, if you enjoyed this video, you would probably really like this one. Check it out.